Okay, so uh, I will go on the beginning through the interface of the robot one more time. So on the beginning queue, we have to choose a new project template, which means that uh, either we go to the frame 2D or uh, 3D. Uh, I suggest uh, on the beginning to start with the 3D and frame 3D design. Okay, on the left you will uh, find the object inspector in which uh, every drone geometry will appear. Uh, you will find the prop uh, properties of the uh, of this geometry of these uh, objects. Uh, what is also on the top, of course, you will find all the ribbons which you somehow can recognize from the AutoCAD. Uh, uh, there is edit, uh, there is view, and also from AutoCAD you recognize probably the uh, the view cube. As you can you can click to change the the view to rotate the view. If you want to stick to one of the planes on the top uh, center, or oh, oh, sorry, on the bottom center of the screen, you will find this. Um, option to change the view for example to the x y or x z then you will see everything uh, uh, on uh, directly on the plane uh, yes here on the bottom you will find uh, the icons the shortcuts uh, for the visibility of the objects uh, there is for example node numbers bar numbers and panel description okay let's make uh, some basic uh, geometry uh, let's um, make a cantilever um, and then either we can create it uh, by clicking uh, either we can try to create this uh, object through uh, just scripting here 000 will be the beginning and the end will be for example 10 meters uh, zero, uh, 0 this will create 10 meters long uh, beam if I click add uh, you see that uh, in the object inspector the bar has appeared uh, also two nodes the end nodes of this bar has appeared uh, also, when I mark this bar, you see that the um, uh, properties of this bar has appeared. And uh, you can find here a section, IP100. If I would like to change it, uh, then I have some default options. But for example, if I would like to change it to the uh, HEB200, then I go to the bar selection. And then you see all of the cross section which are in this uh, in this um, uh, the, this project. So if I want to add another one, add a new one, uh, st still uh, it's um, uh, then we go to the HEB and for example uh, 200. Then if I right now add 200, you will see that uh, HEB 200 has appeared. Then I can. Uh, go to the HB, HGB 100 and create somehow the database on which I know that I will be working in the future. So, for example, if I go for the 400, it's also very nice to, on the beginning of the project, to bring all of the uh, cross sections which I will be probably using, but I don't have to use it. If I want to now change uh, this um, bar into some uh, other cross section, like for example HEB 100, then I am just either clicking here one because I know that the uh, node number is one. I will just uh, turn on the element number. This is one, and I can type here one. But if there is nothing, I can just click on it, and the one will appear. Uh, yeah, and then click apply and close. If I mark it, we see that uh, the section has changed. Also here I can change the cross section to 200. Everything what is blue in the uh, in this uh, properties of the element can be changed. So for example steel, uh, which is default steel uh, model, uh, can be changed to some uh, specific one like S355. So if I go to this one, the most popular steel in the market right now, we see that uh, that uh, it has changed. Uh, okay, uh, what uh, about the supports? Uh, how to create supports? Uh, here we are choosing uh, our types of supports. We can create a new one, but uh, let's stick to the fixed and pinned. Fixed is the fully uh, it's without rotations and pinned. It's uh, 
with rotations uh, blocked. So if I double click, left click on it, we will see that all of the uh, uh, directions are fixed. Uh, and if I change it to paint, we will see that only translations uh, are fixed and the rotations are free. Uh, then if I mark fix and uh, either I will now turn on the now on the left bottom, uh, I will turn on the notes numbers. Either I can go here and just type one space two, and I will create a double um, uh, the, the 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 fixed uh, support on the both ends. Uh, which I didn't want to do, so I want to uh, create a cantilever. So I go to delete and then current selection one, for example, and we see that uh, the, the, the fixed stay only on in the node number two. Uh, yes, uh, then uh, if I want to uh, create a calculation, I need some loads. Uh, without loads, the calculation will not uh, be done. So I click uh, add that uh, load, the first that load, and by default, this uh, that load, I will just add the second uh, that load, and then I will show you something. Right now, let's go to the loads and the load table. And you see that DL1, the first uh, load case, uh, has by default the self weight of the structure. We can change it, we can uh, wipe out this uh, self weight but uh, let it stay like that but we see that dl2 which also exists in the model uh, has nothing uh, by default so for example uh, right now we can either go here to view and go back to the view but if we want to uh, we can uh, also close uh, the uh, table with the loads uh, here in the this uh, pop out menu you will see all the load cases uh, which you create uh, in the project so if i go to the marking of the load symbols you see the whole uh, beam uh, is uh, turning red it means that the self weight has been uh, added to this uh, that load if we go to the second case we see that uh, everything is black which means that there is no load uh, at all so let's make uh, one load let's make uh, minus uh, one on the z direction point load at the node number one so either i go here and click one either i just marked this first uh, point and it's uh, appearing here then i click uh, i'm clicking one and we see that uh, the load arrow has uh, appeared. If I, one more time, clicking on this icon, it's turning on, turning off the loading icons. Now I can run the calculations. Uh, there was no errors, it's nice, uh, it was calculated. And here, uh, let's see the displacement. Perfect, it's looking uh, really, um, really good uh, then uh, if i go to see the displacement from the self weight we also see that it's um, like we think it is so probably it's okay uh, one thing about the uh, the displacements uh, and the generally to the tools to the job preferences uh, job preferences is just the settings um, uh, a lot of settings information you will find in this job preferences if you go there and uh, go for the units and formats for example and go for the dimension uh, and uh, we see that uh, for example the accuracy the tolerance of um, the units this uh, showing so if you go for the displacement for example we see that there is only uh, the, the 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 tolerance it's uh, two millimeters and somehow uh, very often I want to have a little bit uh, better uh, precision of the numbers so I want to go to the three numbers after comma of millimeters I can change it here uh, so also the materials here we uh, let's uh, discuss a little bit this job preferences the modification of the uh, materials uh, it's also here if we click to the modification we see that uh, here are all of the data the input data for the materials and uh, if we go for example for the other 
uh, then we can create our new one. Uh, of course, we can also add a new one in the steel, but uh, I suggest you to stay with the your material, uh, user created material in the other. So for example, if I go to the user uh, one, uh, then uh, I could change, for example, young modulus and make it two times uh, smaller. So the, the, the structure will be more uh, flexible if I go for the add and uh, okay and then this uh, okay if we have the displacement then turning on this one from the icon on the bottom right we see that the whole model has um, has been turned off the visibility of the model to go back to the uh, default uh, display settings you click on the first um, icon on the left bottom so then uh, you see the bar and then I can mark it and let's change uh, the uh, user uh, the material to user new and then we can see that the young modulus it's uh, two times smaller uh, 